We're now joined by Catherine Bryce and Mariana Martinez of the Warriors. Um, Catherine, it wasn't the win you perhaps wanted today, but you are already through. What was it like out there today for the Warriors? Yeah, I think it was um, a pretty good performance um, all around from the Warriors. Just a few patches here and there that were probably let go. Um, our fielding's been been really good this tournament so far, which has kind of got us into the place. But we probably let a, let a couple of catches through, which kind of allowed them to get up to that 160 mark. And Mariana, you were perhaps unlucky with some of the decisions off your bowling. You're bowling really well. How good do you feel as a Warrior and to be back with this team? Well, I feel great to be back um, with my bowling. It, uh, the last game wasn't that good, but this game was so much better. I feel so much comfortable with my bowling, and yeah, I will I will keep developing with the team the tips that that uh, some of you players give it to me. So it's good. And um, what's it like to be able to bowl alongside the likes of Bryce, who is absolutely flying high at the moment? Yeah, I feel motivated. I feel motivated to uh, talk to her, and maybe she goes and and say maybe you should do this, we should do that. So it's really uh, it's really good to feel like I have players by my side that I, they keep helping me so, so with so many things and as well like cheering for me. That is so good as in a team. Um, Bryce, leading wicket taker in the comp at the moment, we've not just seen you with the ball, we've seen you out there with the bat today. This tournament, you just lit it up this year. How good does that feel? Yeah, no, it feels really great to be able to do that this year. I um, probably had a bit of a tough time last year with the ball, especially. Um, so to just have a bit more confidence coming into it, I'm um, having had a winter away in Oz. Um, it's just been great to be able to put those performances in for the team. And the Warriors obviously had a difficult year last year. What's changed? Um, not a huge amount, I don't think. We've got, got a few new players in, um, which have really, they've really gelled quickly with the team and bought into everything. Obviously, Phoebe at the top of the order just kind of set the tone in that first game, chasing down that first total, I think, just kind of set us up um, because I think that was a bit last year. We kind of set ourselves up for the win in that first game and let it go a bit. So kind of taking that first victory and that the momentum from there has been really brilliant. And Mariana, you are... The Argentinian representative in our tournament. How proud does it make you to be able to wear that flag and show off what the flamingos can do? To have the flag in my back means more than everything. Like um, my teammates say to me, like we are so proud of you that you come with this flag in your back and you represent it in a way that you can. We are not going to put you pressure. Like you need to do this or you need to do that. No, it's like I come with this flag and I go in proud in, in the in the game and I go out proud as well. So for me, it's uh, a lot. And what's it like for both of you, because Scotland and Argentina, both associate nations, um, to be able to work alongside the full member nations and you're teaching them as much as you're learning from them? Yeah, I think it's really exciting to be able to pass on um, the challenges we have as associate nations, but also um, I think it's, it's great to to learn from people with different backgrounds and, and cultures and how they've got into cricket. Um, I think someone asked you, like, how, how did you even get into cricket in Argentina? And being able to share those stories um, with the likes of people that um, cricket is just is everything in their countries and um, is really special. And last one from me before we go to the floor. How did you get into cricket? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so I needed to find a sport that, that I can make friends. And I went to my sister to, with my sister to try it because I was too shy to go alone. So then at first I didn't like it, but my sister hated it. And uh, so I tried the year after and I fell in love. And my, my teammates that are right now playing again uh, with me, um, they're really they're really good friends of mine right now. So it's, uh, I, I it joined in the game. Like I joined in cricket because of the friendly part. And do you have something you want to say to your fans at home in Argentina? You can um, say in Spanish if you so wish. Flamingos, si están mirando, las amo. Gracias por el apoyo que nos dan. Y aquellos de mi familia y todos los que estén mirando de Argentina, la Asociación de Cricket Argentina, eh, muchas gracias por el apoyo. Y yo voy a representar la bandera en lo mejor que pueda. Gracias. I just nodded on as if I understood yeah. what you're saying. She's um, just super excited that she's I, been able I, to speak in Spanish for yeah, yeah, 10 yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't excited. have to think about English. Um, and I think we have a question from Mohit. Go ahead. Thanks, Georgie. Uh, hi, Catherine. Congrats on being the top wicket taker in the group stage. So 
you've already picked eight wickets so far. Do you have a favorite wicket since you've dismissed a lot of good batters in this edition so far? Um, favorite wicket. I think. Oh. Catching his sister. Oh, oh yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> that's her own fault for hitting out there in the deep. Um. I think Deandra Dotton's probably a pretty special one to get. You know, you know she's she's going to send you to all parts of the ground, so to be able to take her wicket's pretty special. And uh, just talking about this season, it's been like a great season for you so far. Last year it was a different experience. Uh, your sister and Julia touched upon a few of the things that you worked on in the off-season being in Australia. Can you tell us a little about what were some of the things you worked on that have helped you have such a good season so far? Yeah, I think last year probably lost a little bit of consistency in my bowling, which was something that that was always a big part of my game. I um, don't necessarily have the, the pace of some other bowlers, so to have that consistency go um, was probably a bit of a struggle. So just, um, and with that goes a bit of the confidence as well. So just having the time in Australia to to, to work on my game a bit and just really back myself again when bowling and um, have those opportunities, playing just playing the, the number of games out there um, to kind of get that confidence back and that consistency back in my game. Amazing. Uh, this question for Mariana as well. Uh, you spoke about getting to play with the full members, uh, but you're also getting to work with Julia Price, a World Cup winner who also has coached an associate nation in international cricket. So how has that experience been and what are some of the things that you've learned from her in this edition? Well, I learned that um, we're all humans. Like uh, the, the thing that in the team you see it as uh, figures outside uh, in their countries. But once you are in the team uh, uh, with them, they're all so friendly to you. And with Julia Price, obviously, I'm so proud of, to have uh, her as a coach. Um, she's like uh, so, uh, she gives you more, so, so motivation, uh, so much motivation to, to play. And he keeps working. He pays so much attention on, on, your, on your cricket that she always wants to, to you to grow. Uh, so yeah, I'm proud to, to have her uh, as a coach. Okay, so we're joined by Deandra Jotin and Tara Norris of the victorious Barmy Army. Deandra, player of the match today, phenomenal with the bat, launching it to all parts, phenomenal with the ball. How good did you feel out there today? Um, I, I actually felt a bit rusty, but apart from... <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> now I'm just being honest, um, but apart from the, um, the achievements that I have achieved today, um, I, I feel really good. And you weren't playing in the last game, so you came into this one after a little bit of a break. Is that perhaps why you might have felt rusty? Because it didn't look like it to any of us. Um, not really. Uh, I mean, like the break was to basically help the team and other players to uh, have a, a feel over there in on and playing. So I mean, like it actually worked out for me, anyways. And Tara, you're just having an absolute ball with the ball at the moment. Um, how does it feel to be back with the army and part of the winning side? You guys. Are you're qualified, you're through. Yeah, no, really happy. Um, yeah, I absolutely love my time back with the Barmy Army. It's good to be back and yeah, we've got a great great bunch of girls. Um, obviously, yeah, I think the way Dee batted today was fantastic and, um, you know, the wicket's a little bit spicy today, but I'm enjoying the challenges with a shorter boundary and enjoying a slightly more leadership role in this group. So, yeah, absolutely loving it. And talking about the leadership role, obviously we saw um, Lauren Winthrop Hill have to go off the pitch today. How did the team manage after that and then with the sort of having to change around, substitute in and then Wolfie going in as captain? Yeah, I think first of all, we found out Lauren's okay, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really good strength of ours. Um, obviously, yeah, Loz um, was out, so we've lost our captain and keeper, but I think the way our players stepped up and everyone contributed just shows the strength in our squad and the depth we've got. And yeah, players like Dee, um, Fatima at the end, bowling, brilliant death overs, like that shows um, the real depth in our squad. And Dee, you've played a lot of uh, franchise cricket around the world. What is it about fair break that makes it so special and so different? Um, playing amongst different pe um, players from all the other countries like Malaysia, Hong Kong and that sort of stuff. Um, I actually do learn a lot from them, you know, uh, their style of cricket, which is also fun. Um, I mean, like, this this, this tournament is, is, I should say, unique. And I like that it's very different from all the other franchise tournaments, like 100 and stuff like that, you know. So, I mean, like, it's actually at its peak and getting better.
And I think we have some questions from the floor. Uh, Mohit, if you want to go first. Uh, to be honest, I enjoy getting involved <laughs> more. Um, but um, apart from the batting, the, the batting part, um, it was very important for me to play that role and stick in and, 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 and give Barmy Army a good total on the board. Uh, I think everything happens for a reason, but it's also good to be back uh, playing cricket in favor. And a question for Tara as well. Uh, you were obviously the first bowler to take a 5 4 in the WPL, and you've been having a great run in the fair break tournament as well so far this year. So, what are some of the key learnings that you've taken from these two top tournaments that you would want to pass on to your USA teammates? Yeah, I think it's about definitely um, having a really clear plan. For me, I'd try and keep it as simple as possible. Um, and I think as well, it's just chatting through those plans and also being really adaptable, especially out here in these wickets. The boundaries are quite small, so trying to be as versatile as adaptable and not too predictable. Um, but saying that, I mean, we've got a brilliant support group and, and a, a brilliant captain to help with those plans as well. Yeah, she is definitely. I'm trying to learn as much as I can from her for sure. Uh, yeah, death bowling is something which I'm obviously still trying to, still trying to work on and, and try and be cl really clinical for the team. Um, so, yeah, just trying to nitpick and, and pick her brain as much as I can. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and final one, Deandra, we've seen you today with the bat and the ball. You're feeling good as we look into the rest day. You got any fun plans? Um... I'm not sure, but I heard Disney is a bit boring, but I'll see how it goes <laughs> so tomorrow when I wake. I'm not sure. DeAndre's going to do it. <laughs> We're taking the world to Disney with us. You